evening, everybody. Usually Eve is in here to open the vlog. What do you think? So it is 8.15. Whoa, 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 whoa. It's 8.15 and and peter is still working he um he has a big project that he has to get done so before we go anywhere he has to get that finished so i'm being productive with the website eve is not cooperating out there she wants to play with him right whoa so i'm gonna take her in here for a little all right this is by far the latest the vlog has ever started it is 10.05 p.m. Oh goodness, but Peter it, has been working since he got home at 2. I've been working since like 8 a.m. Well, yeah, because so obviously he was working at work and then he came home to finish the day up thinking we'd get a jump start on the day, leave right at 5 o'clock, but. And I'm not even done working. Like we're, I was like, you know what, Sarah's like, you need to take a break. Stop looking at your computer code mm -hmm. for we a second. Some stuff. I feel like you feel a little bit better. Yeah, but I just, I, mean, I, I know I probably still have like two more hours worth of work, and I just need to get it done and submitted. Um, but our friends are in town, so we're gonna go say hi to them, hang out with them, and they're actually staying here. So yeah, they're at the they boardwalk. Have an awesome view. Ooh. So we've heard. Yes. So their names are Ben and Carolyn. We mentioned them. Yeah. Of yes, of course. So they were here a couple months I ago and we're super excited they're here. I think tonight, I think that they'd be game to be in the vlog. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see if they are. If not, then it'll just be cool artsy shots and then you guys can watch me on my computer all night till <laughs> 6 in the morning. No! <laughs> we'll look at Dun Dundee's sundries. Those are my favorite. We don't even know if this is the right way we're going. I think it is though. I think so too. Are you excited? Yeah. Nice, so am I. Okay, so for how much time we spent in these resorts, we just went to the completely wrong <laughs> side of the boardwalk. Ooh. And Sarah texted Kayla and I was like, yeah, we're well, no, gonna be right there. And I was like, oh, I think we're on the wrong side of the building. You have to go back down, come across. Okay. Now we're on the right floor. just in this, this trail. Um, Did you like the time lapse? I hope you like the time lapse. So far that is the extent of our vlog right now. But we have a, we got two awesome gifts that we'll show you when we get home. We just want to let you know that it's almost two in the morning. Our friends have been up since three in the morning. I still but have to finish my project that for work. view off their room. Oh my god, that view is amazing. I would just stay in, in the room. I wouldn't even go to the parks. <laughs> well, we were supposed to like, we thought we were going to be hanging out on the boardwalk tonight, but we just hung out in their room. It was so nice. Yeah. Catching up with old pals. Yeah, we're going to see them tomorrow. Yeah, and we're going to do Epcot <laughs> tomorrow. And hopefully the next day and the next day and the next day. Back at work, are we? Are you singing Moana? I am singing Moana. <laughs> Let's hope we get through this. <laughs> it's 2-11. What? 2-12. 2-12? Well, At least morning. it's Friday. Yeah. And we're going to get it done. Enjoy the weekend. So Carolyn and Ben are big Justin Scarred fans. And he has a whole Route 66 playlist. So that's what I'm going to watch while Peter works. I had an Eevee here, but she just jumped. <gasps> what are you doing? Hey. Here she is. Hi, Eve. Did you know it's National Puppy Day? Look, she's got a new bow on. <gasps> Thanks for posing. It's got Easter eggs on it. Eve is usually too energetic to sit on the couch. I think it's just the fact that it's almost 3 a.m. that she's letting me <laughs> relax with her. Good girl. <laughs> you watching TV upside down? Well, it is 3.58 in the morning, and I'm supposed to get up at 9.30 in the morning. I'm supposed to be recording at 9.30 in the morning with Tom for the next podcast, but I am done. Um, 
I just got done with some stuff for work, some things I was working on that I wanted to just take care of. I could have spent, spread them throughout the weekend, but I'd rather not. I'd rather just get them over with. I can finalize them in the morning, submit the files and everything that needs to do. But before I get too technical and boring, it's now the weekend, even though it's four in the morning on Saturday. But I want to show you these two things that our friends brought from us, Ben and Carolyn. They're great. We are so happy they're visiting right now. I already can't wait until they're coming back again because they're just here for a little bit of a long weekend. But, look what they brought us, this Oswald the Lucky Rabbit book. The search for the lost Disney cartoons. And Carolyn was like, I definitely, like, we got you this because we knew how badly you wanted it, but like we were, she was looking through it, look at the history of some of the other cartoons as well. And I love it, it's broken up by, look at this, Rickety Jim. Lost cartoon released December 26, 1927. Empty socks. We should like do like, we should like slowly but surely do like some of these, like discuss some of these cartoons. And it's super cool. It's mostly Oswald, but there are some that are not. Um, but there's like the Oz, the history of Oswald and like, Sarah and I were just talking today, like, do you think, and let us know down below what you think, do you think Walt would be happy that we have the rights to Oswald back? Um, part of me is like, maybe he would be happy that we got the rights to Oswald back, but they wouldn't do anything with him as a cartoon, like he was in the video game, and the, uh, I forgot the name of the, the video game, but it was on Wii, they came out with two of them. Um, it was like Walt and Oswald's adventures, and there was like a paintbrush on Wii, it was super fun. And then like they have a couple cartoons with Oswald, you can meet him um, in California, which is one of my favorite, favorite meet and greets I've ever done. Um, we should probably just put in a photo right there of that meet and greet, it was awesome. But this I can't wait to read, and Ben and Carolyn were like, we literally got this, and it was great, because why not, because they're like us, they're like, Disney, sure, we'll buy it, we'll just get it. Doesn't matter what it is, we're gonna get it. So that's how they got this book, but when they read it, they said, um, they said, when they read it, they, they finished it, they were like, no, we have to give that to Sarah, and it's like, perfect, it's so Sarah. So that's like a huge compliment, so thank you guys, that means a lot to us. We looked through this, and I can't wait to actually sit down and read, but it's literally a children's book based around Mary Blair. Look at this. Pocket full of colors. The Magical World of Mary Blair, Disney Artist Extraordinaire. So, and it's like, it's not, who's it by? It is by Amy Guglielmi and Jacqueline Torgel, illustrated by Bridget Berger. But it's very Mary Blair themed like the style with more of like an art artist style. Oh, they wrote a little message to us in the book. Um, it just is like that touch of friendship and, and, and love and joy that it's not like some people like you got me a book, um, but books are amazing. They bring you to a whole different world. They're like a different version of vlogs and movies and and dream, dreams and inspiration. So that was a cute message. I just saw that, but like, look at this, like each page, has a beautiful, beautiful drawing like that, along with a little snippet of words on the other side. I won't sit here and do the story time, but I want to show you one room, because it like screamed Walt Disney animation. Look at this. It's Mary Blair storyboarding all these beautiful pieces of artwork to all the men. Like, she is kicking butt, showing them what is up. So, I'll probably read this tomorrow morning, uh, make a cup of coffee, hopefully I'll wake up on time, Dom, so if you're watching this, Dom, and I didn't get up on time, like I most certainly always never get up on time, I apologize. Oh, look at Walt and Mary Blair hanging out in front of Small World. Mary Blair, if you didn't know, was um, the, the lead uh, artist and illustrator for uh, her most famous is Small World, but there's a mural in the Contemporary Resort that's done by her. She's, you, have, you can see her snippets here and there um, are, were done by her. I know there's a wing in the hospital where Walt passed away that she designed, I think, the, uh, the newborn 
wing of the hospital, so she's got her art work and everything. I apologize if that's been loud. Sarah fell asleep on the couch, um, and she had Justin Scarn's Route 66 videos on, and I tell you, I haven't watched a lot of Justin. I've watched maybe like 10 of his videos. He does great videos. But I'm just super bitter that we didn't vlog back when we drove Route 66 because Sarah and I took nine days and drove all 2,448 miles from Santa Monica, from Chicago, Illinois to Santa Monica, California for our honeymoon. And I wish we did literally probably 18 months of research with books. I mean, we probably had like seven books that like Sarah and Sarah read probably two or three of them. I read like one of them. Full detailed notes, turn by turn by turn by turn, to get there. Now I've realized this has been like seven minutes of rambling, and I know today was a crazy vlog, but sometimes that's just what happens. Uh, we had a great night catching up with Ben and Carolyn. We can't wait to see them tomorrow. I had a crazy night finishing work that's the life of a salaried employee, though, with deadlines and important things going on. Um, it's funny, Sarah and I were just talking about how like we've been here almost eight months, and we kind of expected a like, what ha happened tonight could happen with the job I have, but we haven't had it yet, which is great, but you gotta put in your time sometimes, which is okay. Uh, I, I love my job and I'm really glad the situation I'm in when it comes to time off and working in my team and my responsibilities. So if that means that one time every eight months I have to put in five or six hours after normal business hours, that's okay. I'm okay with that, but Sarah's asleep. Eve's asleep. Let me see if I can get her on camera. Because the way she's laying is literally the cutest thing ever. So when she gets really tired, she lays like this. She puts her snout in between her arms like that. Like she's resting on a little cutie. But it's funny. That bed that's right behind her, she will alternate between now and, and if I was here all night. She would lay there for like 15... Oh, I'm talking too loud. She would lay there for like 20 minutes. Ooh, will she do it? Look at that. And then she'll plop down like that onto the bed for about 15, 20 minutes. And then she'll go, you know what, I'm sick of this. And then she'll come on the, the tile and lay. I kind of feel like it might, she might get overheated. She looks like she's pondering her life right now. She's super cute. But these two girls deserve to go to bed in their bed. So, oh, she's the cutest thing in the entire world. Literally the cutest. Okay, but seriously, I have to be ready to talk about theme park stuff in five hours and 24 minutes. So I'm gonna get these two girls and we're gonna get ready for bed and hit the hay. It's good to be home. And I'm gonna try some of that Expedition Roasters coffee. I know a couple people already um, ordered some because we put it on Instagram. And I don't know if I mentioned this earlier in the vlog, so this may be getting cut out. But if you didn't they gave us a coupon code for any of you that would like to t to order some of that those coffee grounds and if you do let us know um, for our, our own personal stuff I like the coffee but we are um, taking the photos for them uh, we're trying them and we'll let you guys know how it goes but I'd like to know from you because my taste palette's different different than everybody else so just let us know but it, oh the coupon code is Brookhart 15 B R O K H A R T one five good to be home. Sarah just woke up. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.